spinal injury is the most common cause of quadriplegia, though there are many diseases that can produce the same result, which is an inability to produce controlled movement in any of your limbs or head. For people in this situation, independent control of their wheelchairs is not possible. The technology simply isn't available. Steve Thomas has ALS and lost the ability to drive his own chair two years ago. At present, I have to book a nurse to take me out even the short distance to the day room. It would give me an enormous pleasure to be able to just go without asking anyone. It would give me the freedom to socialise with the other patients, watch TV and even go into the gardens. The gift of independent mobility increases quality of life significantly, and its loss is keenly felt by those robbed of it, through accident or disease. The scale of the problem is enormous. ALS is responsible for only a tiny fraction of the people in this situation, yet there are 5,000 ALS sufferers at any one time in the UK alone, and 20,000 in the US. Most of them will end up sat immobile in their wheelchairs, unable to move on their own. Spinal injury accounts for more than 100,000 quadriplegics in the States, and there are lots of other ways to become quadriplegic. Our project, I Drive Omatic, could help many of these people. Eye tracking equipment, known as eye gaze, is used by many quadriplegics to communicate and for controlling their computers. I type this voice over using my eye gaze and my computer is generating the voice that you're hearing. iDrive-O-Matic is a simple addition to users' existing equipment that allows them to control their wheelchairs using only their eyes. Using iGaze and specially written software, the user is able to direct an electronic hand which physically moves the chair's joystick. The resulting system produces smooth, safe movement, capable of fine, accurate control even on rear wheel drive chairs. All functions of the wheelchair can be operated with eye drive omatic much as somebody with normal hand movement could. The user can change speeds and even recline the chair using only their eyes. The iDrive Omatic hardware has three main components the brain box, the electronic hand, and a rechargeable battery to power its two servos. The brain box contains an Arduino Uno microprocessor and a relay shield. The relays provide switch control for up to three external devices. Two of these are often used for selecting options on the chair's controller and as an emergency off button for turning the wheelchair off. But what you use them for is up to you. Steve Evans has ALS. ALS can isolate sufferers from their family. When you lose the ability to physically interact or talk to your children, your relationship with them can suffer. Steve plugged a Nerf gun into a spare socket on his iDrive Omatic with fantastic results. Fitting a drive omatic to a wheelchair is simple. An adjustable locator plate is fixed to the control unit, which the electronic can sits on. Velcro straps hold it securely in place. A joystick sleeve is installed and you're good to go. The PC software has three main screens, the functions screen for operating wheelchair functions or external devices the trim screen for adjusting control, settings, and the driving screen. The system works well now, 
but the software is still in active development and will continue to improve. My name is Patrick Joyce and I dreamed up the idea of iDrive-O-Matic. I also have ALS, and although I'm not quite a quadriplegic myself yet, I will be soon. I still have a little bit of movement in my hands, enough to move the wheelchair joystick, which I use as a mouse. I have been actively developing iDrive-O-Matic over the last two years, aided by my friend Steve Evans, the iDrive-O-Matic test pilot. There have been numerous prototypes over the period, and I've had to learn 3D design and computer programming in order to realize my dream. It is a system entirely designed and built by disabled people for disabled people. I'll let Steve tell you his story. Four years ago, I finally lost the last tiny movement in my hand, preventing me from driving my wheelchair. I was devastated. Since then, I've been totally dependent on others to move me. Without this assistance, I was stuck in one place. I couldn't even turn to change my view. But I Drivomatic has changed everything. Now I can move and drive my wheelchair with my eyes. It's subtly brilliant. I have regained a significant amount of independence. Now I can go where I want, when I want. I Drivomatic has transformed my life. Over the last month, I drive Omatic has reached the point where we're happy for beta testing to start. Our first two beta testers are Steve Thomas and John Ostenberg. The iDrive Omatic project is entirely open. All the plans and software necessary to build an iDrive Omatic system are freely available online. We want the people who need it to get it cheaply and quickly. Disability equipment is usually extremely expensive. For this reason, we are not going down the traditional commercial manufacturing route. Instead, we are pioneering a local, low-volume production system. iDrive-O-Matic has been designed with this in mind. With off-the-shelf components and 3D printed parts, construction is simple and requires no specialist tools. We aim to encourage people worldwide to manufacture i drive matic systems in their garages. With the diffuse nature of the manufacturing and user base, we hope to build a community to continue the development of i drive matic into the future. Unfortunately, ALS is a terminal disease. Myself and Steve will likely die within the next two years. Our mission now is to grow that community. So when we're dead, it continues. So people who have been robbed of movement can reclaim it. Right up to the end. If you would like an iDrive-O-Matic system yourself, then please go to the iDrive-O-Matic Facebook page. Also, I would welcome offers of help from anyone experienced in electronics to help design a dedicated iDrive-O-Matic PCB.